Hi, I'm James. I'm the Outdoor and Environmental Program Manager at Campfire Central Oregon. Today, we're going to talk about how to make a solar oven. Did you know that Campfire is credited for creating the s'more? And that's what we'll be making today. Before we get started, let's talk about the materials we need. Our materials will include a box of some sort, a shoe box would be fine, aluminum foil, plastic wrap or cling wrap, a pair of scissors, something to cut the box with, uh, a plate, and whatever you're going to use. So for us today, we have our s'mores ingredients. You may be asking, what makes a solar oven? Well, we are going to harness the power of the sun to heat up our food instead of using something like electricity or gas. So the first step is you're going to take your box and we're gonna need to either assemble it or we're going to need to cut a window into the top. So I am going to draw my lines of where I would like to cut out. And if you notice, I didn't make a full square. So you wanna cut three sides, but not all four. So take your scissors, maybe ask a parent for some help. And we're going to carefully cut out our window. And it doesn't have to be the cleanest line. It will work regardless. Okay. So now we have our window in which we will trap the heat inside of our inside of the box. It'll look something like this. Our next step, once we create our window, is to put some sort of reflective surface inside the box to help transfer the heat. So we are going to use tin foil, and we're gonna to try to do our best to lay it out and cover all of the inside of the box. So gently press this all in, and it'll be something like this. So right now, we can take some of our plastic wrap and we're going to close down the window, again, so that the heat does not escape out. And you can use tape, or sometimes the plastic will just stick to itself. And now we close our box, and we have our ready-to-go solar oven. Now that our solar oven box is ready to go, we need to put our food on the inside. So we're going to open up our oven. We're going to take our food on a plate. Using a dark colored plate works better. It helps absorb more of the heat, but we only have a white colored plate today. So we'll place our food inside and we're going to close our oven. And the goal here is to try to get as much sunlight energy into the box. So some of you might want to put more tin foil on the inside of the lid and find something to help prop open the box to reflect more light in. And once our food is in there, it's very important that we don't open the box to help keep all that good heat inside. And we have a clear viewing window so we can say, yes, it's time to eat. Oh no. <laughs> Delicious. If you enjoyed that activity and want to help us with our end of year fundraiser, you can go on to campfireco.org backslash donate to help support local youth in your community.